Last time I talked about why we sing new songs, but today I wanted to remind us of the importance of singing ancient psalms and hymns. The first song recorded in the Bible goes all the way back to Exodus 15, and we're still singing some of the same phrases and lyrics today. One reason hymns are so powerful is because they point us to God's faithfulness throughout every generation. We can see God's goodness and mercy following us throughout history, and we can see God's faithfulness for over a thousand generations. So yes, we sing new songs, but the Bible tells us also to sing ancient hymns. Our God is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He's faithful today, and He always will be. Hymns not only remind us of that, but prove to us when we need it the most. In Matthew and Mark, it says that Jesus, who knew what was about to happen, sang a hymn with his disciples just moments before he was crucified. And remember, as he hung on the cross and he said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He was quoting Psalm 22. Now to those standing by, it sounded like a hopeless cry of a dying man. But to us who know the Psalms, it's a song of hope and deliverance, recalling God's history of keeping every promise he makes. Listen to the words of this psalm, Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me and from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not hear. And in the night season, I am not silent. But you are holy, enthroned in the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in you. They trusted and you delivered them. They cried to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not ashamed. Thank you.